On a full screen phone, it is the first time that you can get a selfie effect that just as the same of your real camera. That's things like the chance of snow, freezing heights, UV levels, and you can get to this information just at Well, this is a phone designed specifically for use in the outdoors. It's called the Land Rover Explore. We know from our research that people are really worried about using their phones outdoors for breaking them, dropping them, battery life sucks. We've put all of these bits into the design of this phone. It's got other features like enhanced GPS through some packs that you can attach onto the back here, which gives you even more capabilities for the outdoors. It's kind of got dull. Every phone looks like a black mirror with a maybe a different colored back. Now we're getting glass backs, but before we had metal backs, but still very similar design. What the industry would like to do, particularly the display industry, is have foldable mechanisms to open up new designs. The challenge is how to get it to work, but how to also make it work in a way that be reliable when someone opens and closes their phone hundreds of times a day, thousands of times a week. Thank you. 
Uh, I think we've pretty much hit a glass ceiling of innovation. If you look at the refresh cycles now that Samsung and Apple have in their products, it tends to be a three-year rather than a two-year cycle when you have a big upgrade. Um, and we're seeing that in their installed base as well. So when we track the market, people are much more likely to now upgrade every three years than every two years. Uh, it's been far less frequent to just have a 24-month contract with a carrier and upgrade every time. So, so yeah, the market started to plateau. And actually, that's one of the reasons we're seeing prices increase. Companies like Samsung and Apple, especially when you approach $1,000 for a phone, want to secure you know, that value in the long term as well. So I'm not expecting a huge amount of innovation. You know, certainly we're seeing um, bits that are interesting around AI and augmented reality, but in terms of how a phone performs and looks and feels, uh, it's not going to be too different, I think, in the next few years.